Okay, what you see on the screen here is a grid that I set up, and this is for marking titanium. Now, what I'm marking is 6AL4V titanium. I believe that's grade 5. And just as a reminder, if you haven't seen any of my other videos on this laser, this is a 20-watt machine with a 150-millimeter marking field. So I tinkered with this quite a bit, and I did a lot of individual marking, and a couple of people recommended some settings, and I also checked out the Epilog Laser website to get a baseline, and they said you specifically want to mark out of focus. You can either be into the material or above the material and it seems like plus three to plus five millimeters is about right for me at 20 watts now if you've got a more powerful laser you may want to tweak that a little bit and you may also want to tweak the hatch settings or the frequency a little bit if you have those options available i found that 80 kilohertz works pretty well if i reduce that any further down i'm going to be more likely to etch the material and that's absolutely what i don't want i want an anneal and i'm going for a color here so the hatch setting, I used 0.03. That's what a couple of people recommended as well as the Epilogue website. And I tried 0 0.02, 0 0.01, 0 0.04, and I didn't see a ton of difference. And I would prefer to have the hatch spacing as far apart as possible. So 0 0.03, 0 0.05, so it would mark more quickly. And 0.03 seems like a pretty good number. I think everybody was pretty, pretty much spot on about that. So the grid I set up is just a standard speed versus power and the speed goes anywhere from 50 to 500. I saw a couple of people using lower speeds than 50 and a couple of people were using faster speeds than 500. Now, anything faster than 500, you know, if you're doing a thousand or something like that, you may just be going for a polish pass and that's fine. Uh, you can do that down here as well on my laser at least. And uh, these are pretty much the colors you can get from marking. It's gonna be silver right around here and then it's gonna transition into yellow around these bands and then it'll gradually move into gold, orange, purple, blue. And at the bottom right corner, you're just gonna see something that's basically toasted. It's gonna be too dark to be useful. And there is a significant difference between three millimeter plus and five millimeter plus focus. So I'm gonna show both of those and we'll take a look at them and see how this works. The one thing about titanium is that I found it really needs to be clean. If you have any oils on the surface, you're going to notice them burning off. So I cleaned this off with denatured alcohol. I'm not sure if that's the best cleaner to use, but it seemed to work okay. So let's take a look at actual marking of this grid, and we're going to do this at both plus three and plus five. So this is actually going to be the plus five marking, and that's because my expert camera skills managed to get the plus three right out of the frame while I was marking, and I didn't realize until halfway through. So you'll notice as I'm marking the actual grid here that it's going to show up in a little bit of an out of order pattern. And if you look at the file, and by the way, I'll make these, this file available in the links to the video description below. And you can feel free to download it, change it, do whatever you want with it, and uh, tweak it so it's appropriate for your laser. But if you do look at the object list on the left, you can see that all my boxes are kind of skipping and I sort of arranged them in such a way that hopefully one box right next to another won't be marked in the same time so it'll give the material a little bit of time to cool off and we won't have any uh, distortion from that. Now you can see at the slower speeds and the higher powers, we've got a pretty significant burn going there even at plus five millimeters and that's absolutely not what I want. But it's okay, it's still informative and it's nice to see a max of the uh, range. So. If you've got a more powerful laser than this or a smaller marking field, you may find that a lot of the higher end of the range is completely useless to you. So with the marking complete, we can see a picture in a little bit better light of what the colors actually came out to be. And this is the plus five millimeter marking. And you can see that the colors are pretty nuanced. You've got a variety of shades of sort of yellows, gold, maybe even a slight tan, almost a peach over there on the right and a variety of blues and grays and a little bit of an orange and that kind of thing. So pretty good colors. And just to show you what actually happened with the three millimeter focus marking, when you drop down two millimeters, this is what happens to the color. So pretty significant difference. You lost a lot of the colors all throughout the middle of the uh, grid here, but I think it's worthwhile to show it and you would see a lot more sparking when you're actually marking it. So again, I'll make this test grid available in a link to the description to this video below, and you can feel free to download it and do as you wish with it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them here.